Have you ever wondered why in a country as densely populated as the United States, certain states are almost empty? Now, that's a question that might have crossed your mind. It's a peculiar phenomenon, one that we're about to unravel in this fascinating narrative. In the land of opportunity where cities are bursting at the seams, there exist these vast expanses of land, these empty states. They stretch across miles and miles, their landscapes unbroken by the usual hustle and bustle of human activity. Imagine driving for hours on end, the road ahead of you unchanging, and the only company you have is the endless sky above and the raw, untamed wilderness around. Picture states like Wyoming or Alaska, where the number of people per square mile is less than one. Yes, you heard that right, less than one. In a country where some cities are home to thousands upon thousands of people in just a single square mile, these empty states stand in stark contrast. Now, let's take a step back in time. These states have always been on the leaner side when it comes to population. Historical records show that while the eastern seaboard was quickly filling up with settlers, these states remained largely untouched. Surely the pioneers must have had some compelling reasons to bypass these lands. Was it the harsh weather with freezing winters and scorching summers? Or perhaps it was the rugged terrain, the vast deserts and the towering mountain ranges? Maybe it was the lack of resources or the sheer distance from the already established colonies? Each of these factors could have played a part, but there's more to the story. As we delve into this fascinating narrative, we'll uncover the hidden truths, the lesser known facts and the intriguing mysteries surrounding these empty states. But what is it that keeps these states so sparsely populated? Let's delve deeper into the mystery. In the upcoming scenes, we'll explore the harsh truth of geography, the economic angle and the paradox of these empty spaces. So, Stay tuned as we unravel the mystery of the empty states. Geography as it turns out plays a critical role in shaping the destiny of places. The vast empty states of the USA are no exception. Their geographical features have a profound influence on their sparse population. Let's delve into the intriguing details. Imagine living in a place where the climate swings between two extremes, blistering hot summers and bone-chilling winters. That's the harsh reality of many of these states, the arid heat of Nevada's deserts or the freezing cold of Alaska's wilderness isn't exactly appealing for most people. Then there's the issue of remoteness. States like Montana and Wyoming are nestled away from bustling urban life. The sheer distance from major cities can be daunting. Picture this. You're in the heart of Wyoming, and the nearest grocery store might be a couple of hours away. Convenience isn't exactly a luxury in these remote locations. And let's not forget about the vast expanses of wilderness. These states are a treasure trove of natural beauty, with sprawling forests, towering mountains and breathtaking landscapes. But as captivating as these vistas may be, they're not necessarily conducive to human habitation. The rugged terrain can be challenging to navigate, let alone build a home or a community. Lastly, we have the lack of infrastructure. Roads, bridges, hospitals, schools, these are essential elements in any settlement. Unfortunately, these states often fall short in this regard. It's not uncommon to find areas with limited access to basic amenities, which further deters human settlement. Now let's consider an interesting anecdote. Ever heard of the town of Manowee in Nebraska? It's the only incorporated town in the USA with a population of one. Yes, you heard that right. Just one resident. The town's remote location and harsh climate have led to its dwindling population. Manowee serves as a stark reminder of how geography can shape the destiny of a place. Geography isn't the only culprit here. There's more to the story. As we delve deeper, we'll uncover the economic factors that also contribute to the sparse population of these states. So stay tuned as we continue this fascinating journey into the heart of America's empty states. While geography sets the stage, the economy often plays the starring role. In the grand drama of population distribution, the economic angle is a crucial player. Let's delve into the economic factors that contribute to the low population of these vacant states. The lack of job opportunities and economic prospects paints a stark picture of these regions. Imagine a once thriving coal town, where the mines have closed and the jobs have evaporated. People's livelihoods once tied to the rhythm of the mines are now left hanging in the balance. The decline of traditional industries such as coal, oil and farming has a domino effect on the local economy. As these industries falter, so do the communities that depend on them. Take for example the story of John, a third-generation coal miner from West Virginia. When the mines closed, John found himself out of work and without any other skills to fall back on. Like many others, 
he was forced to pack up his family and leave his hometown in search of work elsewhere. This narrative is all too common in these empty states, where the decline of traditional industries has left a void that's hard to fill. Adding to this economic conundrum is the trend of urban migration. As job opportunities in rural areas dwindle, people are drawn to cities where there's a promise of better employment and a higher standard of living. The bright lights of the city with its allure of opportunity often outshine the humble charm of rural life. Consider the case of Sarah, a young woman from a farming town in North Dakota. The prospects of continuing her family's farming tradition were grim, given the harsh weather conditions and the volatile market for crops. Instead she chose to move to a bustling city, trading her country life for an urban one. Her story is representative of many young people from these states who choose the city's hustle and bustle over the tranquility of rural life. These economic factors, from the decline of traditional industries to the trend of urban migration, play a significant role in the low population of these states. It's a complex web of factors that leaves these regions not only with vast stretches of unoccupied land, but also with a scarcity of economic opportunities. It's not just the land that's empty, but the promise of a prosperous future too. But could these empty spaces hold a hidden potential? What if we looked at these unpopulated expanses not as vacant but as vessels of untapped opportunity? Picture this. The quiet plains and towering mountains could be the perfect canvas for the tourism industry, offering a haven for those seeking solitude and an escape from the bustling city life. Imagine harnessing the power of the sun and wind that grace these lands. These empty states could become powerhouses of renewable energy generation contributing to a greener, more sustainable world. And let's not forget about the potential for conservation efforts. These regions could serve as sanctuaries preserving the diverse flora and fauna that call these places home. So while these states may appear empty, they are brimming with potential, waiting to be discovered and utilized. Could these empty states in their solitude hold the key to a sustainable future? Well, only time will tell.